Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the Kingdom Game token using your Trust Wallet and Pancake Swap. I'm going to be showing you step by step everything that you have to do in order to purchase this token. But before we get started, I just want to remind everyone I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on my channel, showing you guys how to buy, how to sell, and lots more to do within the crypto space. So if you guys are interested in crypto, I'd really recommend subscribing to this channel as I have lots of content coming out now and into the future. Anyhow, all we have to do for this coin is just to go over to our Trust Wallet and open that up. And before we go to the next step here, I just going to remind you guys, I'm not going to show you how to create your trust wallet or how to buy or send BNB to your trust wallet in this video. If you guys need to learn how to do that, I'll have tutorials to those videos linked in the description as well as in the comment section if those videos are needed. Uh, anyhow, once we're in our trust wallet here, first thing that we need to get is our contract address for the token. So if you guys just head over to the CoinMarketCap link I have in the description, it'll bring you over to the CoinGame uh, token page for CoinMarketCap where we're able to access the contract address. And all you have to do is go right beside where it says contracts right here and just click on the little copy button. Once you guys do that, you can go back over to Trust Wallet and open that back up. Then you just wanna to go to the top right of your screen where you see the two lines and two circles and click on that. Then you just go to the top search here and paste in that contract address. And once you do that, you'll see the KDG token here. So we just go ahead and enable that and then click on done. Once you guys add the token inside of your Trust Wallet, we can go over to PancakeSwap and I'll have a link for PancakeSwap in the description as well. So you guys can just go ahead and click on that and then you'll be on the PancakeSwap exchange. So you just go ahead and do that. And once you guys are on the PancakeSwap Finance website here, you just want to go to the top left of your screen where you see those three lines and click on that. And you just want to go to the drop down menu for trade, just like this, and then click on exchange. Once you're on the exchange here, all we have to do now is connect our wallet. So you just want to go to the top right of the screen where it says connect wallet and click on that. And then instead of clicking on trust wallet here, we're actually going to click on wallet connect. And then here it's going to ask us to choose our preferred wallet. So you can use any one of these wallets if you would like to, but I'm going to be showing you guys with Trust Wallet today. So we're just going to click on Trust Wallet here. And then it's going to open up in our Trust Wallet asking us to connect. So we'll just give this screen a couple seconds here. And then you'll get this notification right here asking you to connect to your Pancake Swap to your Trust Wallet. So we can go ahead and click on Connect. And then head back over to a Pancake Swap. Now we'll know our wallet's connected when we see our wallet icon in the top right corner, as well as our balance of BNB right here. Now, for whatever reason, if you guys don't see your balance of BNB here, just make sure you have your BNB on the smart chain. You can do that just by going over to your trust wallet, clicking on your BNB wallet, then clicking on more, and then you'll see a swap to smart chain option. You just wanna make sure that you have your BNB on the smart chain or else it will not show up in your balance here. Um, anyhow, all we have to do now is click on select a currency and we wanna paste that same address we got from CoinMarketCap right here as well. And once we paste that in here, we should get this KGG token. So we just click on import for that, and then I understand, and then import again. Once we have the two tokens in here that we need, we should have to set our slippage tolerance to 12%. And to do that, if you just go over to the top settings here right here, and then right here we can set our slippage tolerance. And I just like to let everyone know as well, as if you guys do happen to get this trade to go through with a lower slippage tolerance, just let me know because I can add it to the pinned comment. For some reason for me, 12% works across the board, but a lot of other slippage tolerances don't work. So if you guys get a lower one to work for you, just let me know and I can add it to the pinned comment down below for other people so they're able to purchase it with a lower slippage. Uh, anyhow, I'm just gonna use 12% as the example here and then exit out. Once we have the coins and our slippage tolerance in here, we can go ahead and put the amount of BNB that we wanna trade. So let's just say it was 0 0.2 BNB. We can go ahead and type that in and then it will show us the amount of the KGG token we'll get in exchange for that. If you're happy with what you see here, you can just click on the swap button where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. Once you click on that swap button, it'll bring you to another page showing you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you your rates and things like that. Uh, if you're happy with what you see on that page as well, you can go ahead and click on swap one more time. Once you guys do that, you'll get a successful transaction notice and you can exit out of PancakeSwap and go back into your trust wallet. And then your token should appear here, usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out showing you how to get this token with trust wallet and PancakeSwap. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.